All right, we are back at it tonight. Um, it's getting to be springtime, and uh, we're going to do a red crawl pattern on a alternative lower flat side extraordinaire. And we're going to be using a new stencil from Russ Allen. It is a tape crawl stencil. So I'll be peeling this apart, and I will show y'all how this is going to work. I'm excited about this. Uh, Russ is really an innovator when it comes to these stencils. He does a fantastic job. So go check him out at insanecustomstencils.com. And let's get to this. All right. So what this is, it's actually cut out. I just have to peel it off and it's reusable. You know, like I've done in my past videos with tape, which I do reuse, but these are actually reusable vinyl type stencils. These are very nice. And what he's done is he's actually cut them where they'll be moldable. And this is really going to be a game changer. Russ has really outdone himself with this. So let's take our time and let's get these off and then we'll put it on the bait. And it's got both sides. It's got a left and a right. So we got the right in my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it right here because it's about perfect for this bait and we'll stick it on down. And then what I'll do is I'll just come on down and just put it down, let it bite and let it stop right there. And what I can do, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll let it come down a little further so we can go to the end of the bait. So we're going to take it there and stick it on. It's very sticky, so it's going to do a good job of sticking. And if you noticed on these stencils, he's perforated them. He split them, so it'll, they'll bend. And this is just a, like I said, this is going to be a game changer. So we'll set that down. And it's going to be no different than doing the, the tape stencil. We're gonna go ahead and get our gun going. We're gonna get some black and you can wipe these off and they're reusable. That, that's the great part about this. So we'll get a little carbon black, get it in the gun. Get this thing open up a little more. Me and this bottle. I've used this bottle so much as it's dried up on the end, and I gotta, I gotta poke it through just about every night I paint because I use black carbon on just about every lure. I love this paint. I hate the cap. Okay, there we go. All right, so I've got a couple drops in. I'm gonna cut my Mac valve down. We're gonna go ahead and test this out. It's blowing too hard. We're gonna cut it down just a little bit because you want to cut, you want to spray this on on low pressure. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure it's secure and I'm going I'm to get my gloves back on. I took them off to put this tape on because it's just kind of um, aggravating to do it with tape But my hands. Like I said, I've had trouble with my hands. I don't want to get uh, paint on them because when I got to scrub them, it just makes it worse. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to hold it up so we can see. And I'm going to take the gun and we're just going to lightly go on this tape. I'm going to start it on the tape and then I'll just move it on up. And I'll go back just to make sure I got it all. Okay. And like I said, it, it, it takes a little bit of practice to, um, to get it to uh, go that fine, but in time you can do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do the same thing I do with the other ones. I, I've got the wing ding out. I've got a, a little sponge I can rest up on that. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna line up. He's actually gave you the points. One, two, three, you, you can do as many as you want. But what I'll do is I'll do the first one off of this. 
this point. And I'll let it go all the way to the top. And I'll just test my gun, make sure it's spraying. Get it going on here. Just a light pattern, just like that. It gives you a fine line. Get that dry tip. I'm using my Creos um, PS771 on this. It's got a, a .18 needle. And you just wanna line it up with whatever you're gonna use for your shell. And just keep it there. Just try to line them up. This one's wanting to slide now. try to do is just hold it. Okay. There you go. Real fine line there. We'll do another one. And all I'm doing is taking my middle finger of this left hand and I'm kind of putting it behind the bait to kind of just give it some stability so it's not doing a bunch of moving around. It's hard. It's hard to hold it and get it to do that, but then we'll go on this side. Let's go ahead and get the gun started. Just go on the, you just want to go on your own. You want to go on your own stencil more than you do the own the bait itself. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the four. But it turned out really good. It's a it's a cool setup. I mean, they, I can't even tell you how excited I was when I saw this. Um and how he came up with this. It's just really ingenious, Russ. Did a fantastic job. And see, then all you'll do is you'll just peel it off. And it gives you a very cool crawl pattern. Very cool. So what I'll do, I'm just going to take it. And he sent it on, it looks like some wax paper. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it back on it until I'm done. Then I'll clean it and just let it stick just like so, and what we'll do, we'll just go to the other side, we'll let that dry just for a minute, we'll go ahead and peel this off, and all I'm gonna do is take a corner of it, like I said, it's on wax paper, I'm sure, you know, you just wanna be careful so you don't tear it, I mean, it's thick, it's not, I don't think it's gonna tear, but until you get it off that first time, um, I would just take my time doing it, because it's a, these are just nice, man. This is this is gonna change the crawl game. It really is. It's gonna change the crawl game. So we'll just flip that over and we'll line it up. I lined it up just below the middle of the eye. And that's what we'll do here. It's very easy to do. And we'll just kind of straighten it up. I don't like it to be, I don't, I don't like it even when I do a tape crawl. I don't want it riding up high on the bait. So I can see here that it's right where I want it. And that's perfect. And you'll get a perfect crawl every time. And these, um, I know these are available. They will be available at Lure Build also. So you can either get it at Insane Custom Stencils through Russ, or you can get it through Jimmy. But this is going to be a game changer. It really is. I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. I love doing the crawls. But this one is going to be fantastic. So you just want to start it out on your stencil a little bit just to get your gun going. And then just start coming down it.
And we'll go back over it. Just to make sure we got a, a nice smooth line on it. Okay. Let's try to get this down here a little bit better. All right. So we'll let that dry just for a second. And we'll get our wing ding out. I'm just going to see what I did on this other side. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. So they match. And you can, like I said, you can look at it and pretty much match them up. I can take it and, oh, that wasn't good. That's what happens when you clean the gun off and you, you don't um, get that uh, <laughs> get that alcohol off of it. That's why I always want to spray it before I before I do it, so I don't do that and mess up my bait. And I did put a um, anytime I use the stencils, I'll put my base coat on, and uh, then I'll um put a coat of UVLS so it doesn't scratch it. It's just something I do. It takes a little bit of extra time, but it's really saves you a lot of time in the long run. And we'll just take it. Gives you a nice, nice line on there. And it matches up perfect with your top. That's why I like to use the same stencil that I'm doing my shell pattern with. And I kind of just have a, a certain section I start at. So it kind of, you know what the angle is going to be on it. And this will be a little harder because I'm, I'm actually going to hold it and try to hold it up with my left hand. And I can't really get up under it like I did the other one. can't sit it. I can't get it to stay still for me tonight. My hands still aren't super great. I'm trying to get them back and with medicine, getting things straightened back out again. Okay. Okay, and that's good. And we'll go This one, this will be a little easier because it's not as not as tall on this end of the bait. Oh, I got that one a little too dark. No, no, it's all right. It turned out okay. And then we'll do this one. turned out really good. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and take this off. Just slowly take it off. And you can see it gives a killer pattern. I mean a killer pattern. That is, this is the coolest stencil that I've seen in a long time. So we'll take that off. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll just clean it off with some Restore because it's not gonna hurt it. And we'll go ahead and put some modeling on this. I got some really cool new black chrome eyes that I'm gonna use for this. So we'll take this up, clean our stuff up a little bit, get that out of the way, get my model instead. So I think this one actually came from Anarchy. I've redone my, my shop and I've kind of <laughs> I've kind of put everything everywhere, so I'm having trouble finding everything. That's, that's a bad thing when you clean up, you have trouble finding what you what you actually need. So we're gonna we're gonna stick this, and I'm gonna lock I'm gonna lock this down, and 
I'm just gonna put it over and do a little bit of modeling. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. And it turned out really good. And if I clean this stencil out, it'd turn out even better. it quite a bit. I love to do crawls. So that turned out really clean and I'll just slide it up and I'll do some on the top here. And I'll just do it in little sections. You know, some of it'll be dark, some will be a little bit lighter. I don't, I don't mind the two contrast on that. Put a little bit on this round part. I want to leave some of the white on there. Because what I'll do is I'll slip a candy over top of it. I've got some um, stuff already mixed. And that takes care of that. We will go ahead and put some around the nose of this. And right here by the eye. Okay. Whoa. That wasn't good. Okay. I'll take it off while it's drawing, let you see what it looks like. It actually does a fantastic job. Russ, I can't tell you how I'm excited, how this is gonna change my painting. It's gonna, it's gonna speed up things. They're, they're gonna be the same on both sides without a whole lot of effort. It looks great. I mean, you will probably want to get a detailed brush to do this so you can keep the crawl line very fine. But this is probably more of a, an advanced stencil. You know, you can, you can still do this. Um, Good thing about it is it, it won't be a, it doesn't take you know you don't I guess you could use a lot of color in this if you want to I'm not going to use a ton of color in it I'm going to keep it kind of clean this is actually going to be mine um I've actually got some wicked red and I've got some candy blood red done up and uh I've kind of heavily reduced it so um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of that wicked red around the eyes because it's not transparent. Because these these new eyes I got, they're black chrome. They've just got a really neat look to them. I think you'll like them. Clean the gun out. Clean the needle. I'm gonna put a little bit of wicked red in it. I still got the air. We'll see, the good thing about this gun is I have the Mac valve. I can leave it. I've actually got it on about, uh, it's about 18. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the eye and around the eye, just a little bit. It is heavily reduced. It'll get a little runny on you. But 
but it's not transparent, so. I may have goofed. I may have sprayed the wrong one on there. That looks like the candy, but let's switch it over here real quick. I think I did goof, guys. I know there's a lot thicker. I think that was the wicked. No worries. I'm gonna get it in real time. Gonna get it in real time. Yep, yeah, that's what it is. This is actually the wicked. It's a lot thicker. I should have seen that when I sprayed it. So let me do something really quick. Well, I'll just head over it. I think on this bait, I'm just gonna leave the bottom white. I'm not even gonna change that. I may take a little bit of this red, not a lot, because it's not transparent. And we'll just make that candy pop a little bit more. So we're gonna clean that out. And then what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the candy around the shell. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take on. Um, I'm still gonna leave some of this white on there. Change my gun back. Clean my needle off just in case it had any dry tip on it. And then I'm just gonna come down and I'm just gonna go up the shell line. And it's gonna, this candy, like I said, it's loose. And I don't care, it does it every time, because I'm gonna do it more than once. And I wanna make sure it gets on both sides of the shell. And this is super transparent, so. And it is a mix between that and 40-50. We'll just flip it over and we'll do the same thing. Just do it on low pressure. It's a little loose. It wants to spray and get, get loose on that. I'm not worried about that. It's, I'm spraying it very lightly. I mean, I'll, I'm not even on 10 and it wants to, it wants to spider web a little bit, but once it dries that first coat, then you don't have to worry about that. And we'll draw it off with our gun. We'll go ahead and hit some on the top. And that's what's going to make this red just pop. You can already see it. It is just, it will be a vibrant, bright, candy red, cool color. So what we'll do is we'll leave that gun alone for right now. We're going to let this dry. I'll go ahead and put the other gun in and I'll draw it off with some cool air. Make sure we ain't got nothing in it and I got reducer in this gun. So we get it sprayed out and we'll turn our pressure on up because all I'm gonna do is dry it off with air. Well, the good thing about the Mac valve, you could leave it on, you know, 40 and just cut your Mac valve down to whatever pressure you want, but that's kind of up to you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dry it off. Got the air on the gun, let the cool air get it. And we'll put a couple of coats on this. Just let it cool off, let the cool air get it. Now 
Now, if you're one of the guys that likes to close this shell in, what you can do is you can do one side of this and then just take you a Sharpie and go on the other side and just put you a dot on everywhere that you're gonna run one of the shell lines up to. And you can, you can close it in. There's Russ has stencils for that. Go to insanecustomstencils.com. He's got the ones for the bottom where you can actually put the ones across the bottom that look really cool. He's got a lot of variety. take that off and we'll put one more coat on it and that should do it it'll give it a really neat um, color combination that I'm going to use in the spring here the river I'm going to be fishing it in is very um, clear so this is really going to be a great bait bit of candy over them eyes. Don't want to do all your white. It's just having some control over your airbrush. And that's it. That is a very, very neat bait. You can still see the modeling through the candy, even in even with putting the wicked red over top of it. It still has a fantastic look. So we'll let that dry, and I'm gonna clean the gun out, and I'll take the um, I'll take the tape off the bill, and we'll um, get the eyes on it, and get some UVLS on it. And then I'll put a coat of lure build, lure coat epoxy over this, and it'll be in great shape. So we'll put this other gun, and we'll just dry it off. Crank our pressure back on up. Just blow some cool air on it. some UVLS ready to go. Let's go ahead and take this tape off. Let me get my laser. Russ has actually got some um, permanent bill tape. This is what they look like. I just didn't do one of the baits yet, but they're reusable for your bills. It's just another ingenious product by Russ Allen at Insane Custom Stencils that's gonna change the painting game. I mean, it's just, he is really, like I said, this, this with this crawl that he's done is just unbelievable how this is gonna, gonna change the crawl game for everybody. I mean, a lot of people have trouble with the, with the tape crawl. I've done it for a while now. I mean, I don't have a lot of problems with it. Some people do, but. You know, it's gonna help them be a whole lot better painter, I'll tell you that. It's really gonna, um, it's gonna help. So, all right. Get this tape thrown in the trash, get it off my gloves. 
That's always fun, getting tape on your glove. It wants to still stick to that all day long. So we'll flip this over, get this up here, and we're gonna set it down. And I'm gonna keep that out, because I gotta get these off. We will take this down for right now. All right, and I've got these black chrome eyes that are really cool. I get these at Barlow's. They are um, six millimeter. But I've never seen a black chrome. I know you see the solid black ones everywhere, but these actually have a, um, they're kind of, they're kind of got a transparency to them. They're, they're really neat. really give it a crazy look. I'll pick it up and show it to you. I'm almost done. Put them up. All right. So that's what it looks like. You can still see the model through the candy. It is just a cool stencil to do some crawl baits with. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with a coat of UVLS and we're going to wind this show up. I'm not going to epoxy this one on video tonight. I'm going to do that later on. And uh, get me a coat, a lure coat on there from Lure Build. Pour this UVLS in, and all this is is UVLS with some um, 4011 reducer. And I'm just going to cover the entire bait. And it's going to lock these candies, all the colors in. I'm going to put it over the bill. You want to get it good and wet on it. Let it dry for about 30 minutes before you start epoxying it or whatever your choice of top coat is. This is not a top coat finish. This is just a, um, it's actually a um, acrylic um, polyurethane. It just locks colors in so it won't fade, run, just keeps them vibrant. Okay, so that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. This is truly going to be a game changer for people who like to do crawl lures. Um, Rush, you really have. You, you've outdone yourself, buddy. These are fantastic. So go check him out at insanecustomstencils.com. Uh, the lure we used tonight was off of uh, alternativelures.com. Luis, a fantastic guy. Go check him out. Um, uh, the paints... You can get paints at Lure Build now. You get the Lure Coat Epoxy, which I'm going to use on this. So there's a lot of good guys out there, a lot of good products. Um, so hit the like button, subscribe. I really appreciate all the support I'm getting. Hit the bell notification so you know when I got upcoming videos. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks.